November 8th, a word in season to the weary by Brother Box Singh. Shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans chapter 8 verse 32. Chapters 14 to 16 of John's Gospel, contain the last messages of our Lord Jesus Christ to his disciples, before he was crucified. These three chapters can be summed up in three short fragments. In chapter 14, the Lord speaks of my peace. In chapter 15, my joy. In chapter 16, my victory. By these three short fragments he answered all their questions. They were wondering in their hearts, why their Lord, though having much power and authority, should suffer like this, and his answer was that he wanted them to have peace. It is a very common longing in the heart of every human being to find true peace. Some struggle for many years, but cannot find peace. Our Lord is saying, my peace I give unto you. Another longing in the hearts of men is to find true joy, but that they cannot get it. Our Lord is saying in John chapter 15 verse 11, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. No earthly means can give this joy. Whatever you may acquire, or possess, or do, you will not find that joy. Yet here our Lord is saying, I am going to die and suffer, that my joy may come into you and that your joy may be full. Again men want power in their lives, but they are defeated. Yet our Lord is saying in John chapter 16 verse 33, In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. That victory is for you and for me to make our lives fully victorious, fruitful, triumphant and full of power. Our Lord had to die and rise again to give us his peace, joy and victory. So real Christian life can be summed up in these three simple words. Peace, joy, and victory.